What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi, and I'm back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Okay, guys, really quick, we have a review video for you guys. A little discussion about my thoughts on Samurai 8. The first chapter just released as of today, and I literally hit the record button as soon as I just got finished reading my first read through for. Um, the first chapter of Samurai 8, written by Masaji Kishimoto, and the art is done by Akira Okubo, who was one of his assistants during Naruto throughout the years. Now, the art, I will say right off the bat, is super good. It actually, I want to say, mimics uh, Masashi Kishimoto really well, so it seems like it almost looks like it's him drawing it. Unfortunately, we learned that it wasn't going to be all done by Masashi Kishimoto, but honestly, he's looking out for his own health. So that way he can, you know, spend the rest of his years here on Earth, you know, living nice and well with his family and whatnot. And I can definitely understand that. But again, the fact that he does have one of his assistants from Naruto on this project is super good. And the art is done very well. In comparison to Boruto, not really a fan of how it looks compared to Samurai 8 because Boruto's, that was one of the things that a lot of people complained about when Boruto first came out. But we're not here to talk about Boruto, we are here to talk about Samurai 8. Now I'm trying to not give too many spoilers away because this is a spoiler free review, but there's some things that I will address that are addressed in this um, video. And I, like I said before, note how I said I was just got done with my first read through. I really do plan on reading this again because I want to definitely understand more of the lore and the backstory behind Samurai 8 so I can get a better understanding of how things work in this story so I can better explain it to people whenever I try to talk to anyone about it. So to start us off, we do have a little scene where it kind of gives me the feels of a Sage of the Six Paths, if that makes kind of sense. There's like a foreground where we get a, a quick little understanding of how the whole Samurai world works. There's Samurai, there's Bushi. The, the whole goal, I guess, is to become a Samurai because once you're a samurai you're not realistically considered a human anymore so it's like being a samurai is like of the highest john okay a bushi is basically just a human being now i'm not really sure if bushis are like samurai in training or people that are trying to be samurai but the fact is is that they are taking that tense where they it is clearly divided you have samurai you have bushi people sometimes uh, confused the two if I'm getting this right the whole goal here of course and obviously with Hachimaru the main character is that he is trying to eventually become a samurai now on the topic of Hachimaru we do learn this in the preview from um, when they released this last month we were referring to him as like a handicapped person he could only drink liquids he couldn't really eat any foods and he was always like hooked up to this machine it was like his house's life support is what they call it in the chapter and he can't survive disconnected for more than three minutes really giving that whole like handicap feel like this this kid is just like totally messed up he can barely walk on his own he needs a cane and he does have a robotic dog who actually was also programmed to be a dog but his voice box is altered which explains why it says meow rather than woofing he lives with his dad now his dad i don't remember his name actually he's just been calling him dad as far as i can remember and later in the story we're introduced to a very important character figure basically his master i'm not going to reveal who that is but again it is a character that i feel like is going to play an important role throughout the story now a lot of the cool things that we do see in this chapter are how the swords work the swords are literally kind of something that i didn't really expect picture like a hilt like the handle of the sword and then like the part that holds the blade to the the, the handle that there is a literally a gap of space in between where so there's nothing there and it seems like the soul is attached to the rest of the blade and that is what they're swinging around and i think that is super dope now as far as the names the terminology that are, is used in samurai 8 i definitely need to cross reference these names and see if there's any significance behind the name choices because they do have some terms and some figures that I feel like can relate to you know Japanese history or Japanese lore or whatever kind of similar to how they use Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi and Naruto those are actual like warlords from way back in the day from Japan so I feel like that ha is also something that is going to be presented here in Samurai 8. Now the setup with this whole thing they really want you to feel for Hachimaru they really want you to see how this dude is he all his dream he just wants to be a samurai also, I can't confirm that. I'm pretty sure that preview was definitely a prequel 
to what actually happens in chapter one. So don't think like this, the, pre the, the, the preview like was just like some kind of three page short that takes place way after. It's actually a prequel to chapter one. So we're introduced to another character that was shown in some trailers that were hyping this, um, this story up. We don't know his name until now. He seems like he's, he's one of these guys that's trying to find all seven keys. Now these seven keys are supposed to be used to unlock Pandora's box. So if you don't know what Pandora's box is, again, this is not a spoiler. I'm not trying to reveal too much. However, that is something that's important to the overall story. And they do explain it like within the first three pages, which are in color, by the way, of Samurai 8. There's some stuff that happens, some stuff that happens. There's some fighting that happens. Someone gets kidnapped and then, oh, what do you know? Some other crazy things happen and it all ties in and it sets up the foundation of what's to come in this new weekly show which is Samurai 8 and yes it is weekly which is a huge surprise and huge awesome thank you because I feel like if it wasn't Masashi Kishimoto drawing it he might not have made it a weekly. The drawing takes a long time I can imagine and it takes a lot of you know hours blood sweat and tears stress all that so and my man has been doing it he's been at it for a very long time just with naruto and some other works that he's done in the past but again this is you know the way that it's working out i do think that everyone's going to appreciate okubo's art style in the place of masashi kishimoto but at least kishimoto is involved enough to the point where he's providing the story the blueprint everything is going to be laid down from kishimoto and he and you could tell because the story is so well thought out the world is so well thought out and it's making me very intrigued and interested in how this whole thing is going to play out and i'm really looking forward to see where it goes from here and all of the tie-ins that happen because remember i will say this there's a significance with samurai 8 okay there is a reason why hachimaru goes through what he goes through in this chapter now again you guys want me to explain more or to talk more about the, the direct things that happen in this chapter with spoilers please go ahead and let me know in the comments and i will be glad to go over certain things whether it's in separate videos or in just a follow-up video to this where i reveal the spoilers and talk more about it in depth and give you guys like more of my opinion on what i think about this but the last thing i will say is that this chapter is so good it's around 75 pages long literally i feel like this series has the potential to get an anime within a year and a half's time mark my words i feel that confident in it oh yo shout outs to team seven of course i had to represent i got yo hold on i think you guys can see it in the back <laughs> so i had to give the shout outs to masashi if you get you can get a hoodie just like this going over to sugoyshirts.com the the info is actually going to be in the description use my code uji15 to save yourself 15 percent off but i'm i'm hoping that we do get some uh, Samurai 8 merch coming soon, some inspired stuff. But like I said, I really have all belief and hope. And like, I really do believe that this story will be that good. The first impression is always super important. And what he he's done with this one chapter, so setting up the entire um, story, the foreground right now, is that he did, a super, he did a super good job. I was so interested. I was like, yo, I'm trying to read this again. I really want to make sure that I understand everything that's going on with the with the souls, the so the samurai, the bushi, the the names, all this stuff. Trust me guys, if you've been thinking about reading it, I highly recommend that you do. And if you're looking for a way to do it, you can head over to shonenjump.com. You can read the first chapter for free without even a like an all access vault account. And even if you decide to do so, I also recommend that you do. And again, this is not shonen jump putting it putting me up to saying this because they are I am no way affiliated or sponsored by them but I also like to share stuff that is legit and true to you guys I am a subscriber literally two dollars a month that's like virtually free that's like two dollars like every month I get full access to everything here's how it works the first three chapters for literally anything is free without a, like an official like with a premium account as soon as you become two dollar a month member you get everything at access. You can download it to your device, all that kind of good stuff. And you know, you can read it offline, read it uh, on the plane, airplane mode, all that good stuff. So become a member today, cause I said so. Let me know what you guys thought about Samurai 8 in the comments below. And again, remember, if you do want me to talk more about it in detail, spoilers and everything, let me know as well in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter, all the good stuff, all the description, all the links will be in the description below. Take care of yourselves, have a good one, may the power protect you. And I'll see you guys next time.